up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. level, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three at Jamar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA, downtown. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, we'll take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Punches and punches, punches and punches, let's go. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Lands with the lead right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big
big kick land. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big punch land. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just over three minutes to go. When he drops his head, throw a head kick. Nice kick. There, huge block for him. Oh, slips his head and counters with a hook. Nice job by Lee. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Let's go. He's gonna be first now. Just misses there with the left. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Just unable to quite find that wrench. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Dig and kick. And they set. Real sneaky body kick. Get some offense. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Back and forth we go here. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. <laughs> Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. <laughs> 20 seconds left. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Power. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to be on. Missed with that attempt. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to hit too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it so much more. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Watch over the top. And just misses with that big right hand. Spinning back fist is there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. You got to check these low leg kicks. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Looks like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. Just missed with the left there. Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. Now connects with a right. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, come on, take down. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, blocks the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Wow, what a head kick. Fifteen seconds to go. Watch the strike. And that's the end of round number two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? 
He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong legs have so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice punch, man. He continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. It's very tricky to throw that body. Went for the inside leg kick. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Huge block there. His hands are down. Let's set up that high kick now. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Caught that kick there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the octagon. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick heavy approach. Look at him chopping the wood. He's chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. That's a big strike right there. Head and kick. both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, huge block. going upstairs with the left hook. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Real nice body to land. Nice punch there by Lee. Wind it up. Stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Hands up, hands up. Great punch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but accuracy. Accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. job to land the knee there by the taller fighter and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say I wish I was a little bit tall you're a baller switching stances here
20 seconds now remain in the round. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Ooh, what a punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or... And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice body kick. Nice punch land over the top. That is a huge shot right there, BC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lee's pass attempt denied. Nice hammer fist. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his... Oh, he might have got him with a choke. in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 40 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.